Hi guys, Miss Katie here. And today I'm gonna to show you ways to use water, uh, waterproof markers to make watercolor prints on watercolor paper. Um, for this, you're going to need watercolor paper, any kind of paper will work really, some Crayola water uh, washable markers, that's what I'm looking for, some Crayola washable markers and a plastic baggie. So, and I'm gonna show you different ways to use them to get different effects on your paper. So, here's my plastic baggie. Now, for the first um, method, I am going to use a brush to make my paper wet. Okay, now, while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna take my plastic baggie and I'm going to use my markers and I'm going to color on my baggie. Just color right on the baggie. I'm gonna do a red splotch there. And then I'm gonna do, I think I'll do a pink one. And let's do a little orange. And keeping with the warm color theme, let's do some yellow, okay? So you see, I just have some colors that I colored right on top of my baggie. Now I'm gonna take my baggie and I'm gonna flip it so the colored side is gonna go on the wet part of my watercolor paper. Now watch, when I rub it with my finger, it spreads. So because the baggie is waterproof, it doesn't like the water or the markers, it comes right off. And when you rub that color on the wet paper, it comes off and plop. Ooh, that's pretty. You can blend that a little bit if you want, or you can leave it be. So that's what it looks like when you use a wet paper, or when you use wet paper with a brush. Now, let's see what happens when I use a spray bottle on the paper. So let that dry. Now I'm gonna take my baggie again Gotta wipe off my baggie so that it's ready for the next thing. So I have that wiped off. So let's use some cool colors for this one. Use some blue on my baggie. Some purple. And we'll use some green just cause now, let's see what happens when we put the baggie on the spray, on the color. Ooh. Okay, so it looks a little bit more runny than when we use the paintbrush. I think because you're able to get more water out with a spray bottle than with a brush. And whoop, ooh, see it's a lot runnier. So you can even swirl that in your paper a little bit if you wanted to. Or you can take a paper towel and dab up the extra water. That's an interesting effect. But both the ones, the colors um, blend together pretty cool. Now, the last method I'm going to show you is when you do the draw on the baggie and then make the baggie wet, okay? So for this one, let's go ahead. Purple. We use all the rainbow colors. I know my friends love playing with rainbows. Some yellow, orange, red, and let's put pink on there just because Miss Kitty loves pink. Put that on the purple side. Now, watch what happens when I put the spray bottle on the baggie itself. Ready? Whoa! Woo! Looks like tie-dye, doesn't it? I like how this swirly here. Now, this is probably the messiest one. You gotta try to flip this over without messing it up. You could also, if you had a loose piece of paper, just pl um, print it on top. But my paper isn't loose. I'm just gonna flip this quick. Flip. 
kind of got a little bit muddy brown. All the colors kind of ran together. So that method probably best if you did, if you pressed the loose paper on top of the baggie. Actually, let's try that together and see what it looks like. So I'm curious to see what it would be like. Okay. So let me get a loose piece of paper. get one of my scrap pieces of paper here. Let me move this paper out of the way. So, here's my paper. Let's do, and then I have my baggie. Let's go ahead and put the colors on the baggie. Green, yellow, starting in the middle of the rainbow. Yellow, orange, Red. Blue. Purple. And let's get a little bit of pink. Now, give the bag a spritz. Gentle spritz, you don't want the colors to go too crazy. Oh, we'll see they're starting to swirl a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take my paper, press it on top, see what happens. Let's flip it over. Oh, baggy stuff. And, oh, that kind of came out cool. It kind of spread all over the paper a little bit, but you still see the gradient of the rainbow going from the reds, um, the warm colors all the way to the cool colors. That's a pretty cool effect. And if you want to make this even cooler, you could use a Sharpie after you do watercolor of your paper and do a picture on top of it. Like you could use a Sharpie and make it into like a sunset, like a sunset over the water. You could turn it into mountains. You could do flowers, whatever your imagination tells you. So I was excited to show this art pro share this art project with you guys today. Send me pictures if you guys decide to try doing some watercolors with markers. You guys have a great rest of your day. Miss you, and I will see you virtually later. Bye.